Oh, hey, hi, welcome back to my channel. So here's the tea, sis. I woke up, uh, and the world turned, but like not in the way it's supposed to. It was, I was vertical and it was horizontal. And basically I woke up with a lot of vertigo. And right now, like my hands don't feel connected to my body. And I've like almost fallen down multiple times. I missed the toilet seat when I tried to sit down. So I don't know what's going on with my brain. Being an adult is fun. But in this state of humanity, I figured why not react to some stuff? Cause who knows what's gonna come out of this little I was trying to point to my mouth, I pointed to my eye. There you go, perfect example. Because it feels like I am super drunk right now. So I figured I would react. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe because I put up videos every single week. It helps me a whole bunch. Now, let's get to the action. Let's react to 10 things that turned 10 in 2019 while I'm like this. Side note, went to the bathroom again. Couldn't pour my cat's food. I poured some in their water bowl because I couldn't tell there was water in there. So that's where we're at. Let's do it. Okay, oh my gosh. So the first thing is the most viewed YouTube video of 2009. So that would be turning 10, obviously. And it's Susan Boyle doing I Dreamed a Dream. And oh my gosh, guys, I'm not even kidding when I say I love I Dreamed a Dream. It's my, oh, got real dizzy there. It's my favorite freaking song. I sing it all the time because it's just like emotional. And like in high school, I sang it all the time because I just, it, it emoted me. It showed my emotions. Because I was just upset about life and like it just related. And I remember that Susan Boyle was a big deal because people were like, oh, she doesn't look like she can sing. Which was that even mean because like your esophagus is the same in every body. Like, or maybe people have different esophagus. I don't know. But like people have the same throat. So how can you look at someone and be like, oh, you don't have the right esophagus. You don't look like you're a singer. Like, how would you even know that? And she's just such a good singer. I have like one of her CDs and she's just great. Okay, so sick. I didn't know that this was the number one viewed video of 2009, but that makes me happy because she's amazing. Okay, now it's a movie that's turning 10, and it's Avatar. Ooh, Dizzy boy. And so what I don't understand, I'm glad it's this one, is because Avatar was a big movie, and like I get it, kind of, because like James Cameron, but can someone please explain to me why it was such a big deal? Because like I don't remember it being a big deal when it came out. Like, it was like, okay, there's blue people, they're aliens, why do I care? But, like, I d was blown away when I found out that apparently, like, it was, like, number one in the world until Infinity War for, like, gross ratings. I don't understand. Like, can someone explain to me why this was a big deal? Was it because they, like, had the 3D option? Or were people just thinking it was going to be, like, another Titanic? Because there's no water. Well, there's water. That's a lie. They have water on Pandora, right? But it's not going to be Titanic, so can someone please tell me why it was like a big deal? Okay, thanks. Also, I remember when I first tried to watch this, like when it came out, I fell asleep because we like rented it and I like fell asleep halfway through. But then I had to watch it in my religion class in college and I was actually like, dude, this is actually a pretty dope movie. Because I think it was broken up into like four classes, so I think that made it easier to watch because I didn't have to sit for as long. But like it's got really good messages about like how you should be good to the nature and how we're all connected and it was pretty sick. Okay, thanks. Also, I just realized that it was Endgame, not Infinity War. Okay, sorry. So, next is a TV show that premiered 10 years ago, and it's Modern Family. Now, I remember when this came out, and I thought it was so funny, but now I feel like it's just, like, had its time, which is good because I think it's on its last season, but, like, I remember this was such a big deal because I watched it with my family, and, like, you hadn't seen a gay couple like on a sitcom on a big show let alone a comedy so like that was a big deal and I remember thinking that was like so cool that there was a gay couple on a big show and now I feel like it's like more common so that's just cool to see how much we've grown in 10 years but also it just got like not as funny as years went on I feel like I've seen maybe a couple episodes since that first season I don't think I've really watched it but like it's still a study show I'll probably end up binge watching it eventually but like it's crazy to think that was 10 years ago and like gay couple was like such a big deal also didn't they have like a main character die a couple years ago and they're like oh this is how we're gonna end the show and then they came back i think they did the number one song of 2009 was boom boom pow oh my gosh why did i feel like that was an older song than 2009 although no it wouldn't have been because i remember i got a feeling was played at my high school dances all the time that was always like the first song they played and that was like 2009, 2010. Oh my gosh. Why did I feel like that was longer? They were famous before that though, right? Because they had... 
What was that rap song they had? Oh, I'll think of it. I'll think of it, guys. But, like, that's so crazy. I remember that was, like, the first rap song I knew was one of their songs. I'll think about it, and then I'll come back. Oh, wait. I'm break my neck. I'm gonna think about it, and I'll come back. Let's get it started. That was, like, the first rap song I ever heard, and, like, the only one I really knew. And so I always thought it was so cool when I would, like, rap it, and it was like, okay, calm down, Grandma. But, like, at the time, I thought it was so hardcore. Oh my gosh, okay, so now it's a video game that turned 10, and it's Minecraft. Now look, hear me out. I think I played it, like, once when I was younger. My brother played it a lot, and I never, like, understood, because you're, like, building stuff, right? So isn't it, like, a virtual version of Legos? Which I guess makes sense, because people like Legos, but, like, that's what it is, right? Like, it's still very popular now, though. Like, I know that kids are obsessed with it, so, like, it's still a thing, right? Like, do you build stuff, and, like, that's what you do, or is there more to it? I know people build, like, Hogwarts and stuff, which is pretty freaking lit, but, like, just let me know, okay? Because, like, I'm curious. Oh my gosh, you guys, the product that turned 10 is the shake weight. Do you remember the shake weight? I remember when I first saw it, like, advertised, like, there's no way this is a real product. I thought it was, like, an adult swim product or something, because, like, you know what it looks like. Like, you know what that means. Like, let's not even do that. But then I remember Ellen had it on her show, and she had two at the same time, and I'm like, come on, like, you know what I mean? I don't think I, we never had one, but I think I had a friend who had one I used, and I was like, this is just painful, like, this hurts my wrists, like, I think you're, like, nowadays people could not use it, because, like, our wrists are so messed up from, like, playing video games and being on our phones, but, like, wow. I wonder, like, do you think it sold a lot? Did you have a shake weight? Let me know. Okay, so the next thing is, like, a wedding trend that turned 10, and it was, like, how the flash mobs happened at weddings, where someone would dance down the aisle, and, like, their bridesmaids and their dudes, groomsmen, would, like, go down the aisle, like, in the office, when they're dancing to that song, I've been waiting my whole life for this one, I'll take you there, I'm gonna take you there, I don't know what that song is, but, like, that one. And they would dance, and it was fun. And I feel like that's cute, but, like, I'm not going to do that at my wedding because, like, it's all going to be about me. And it's not time for laughter. It's time to bow down to my gloriousness. Oh, my gosh. So the thing that turned 10 in history was Obama becoming president, which is, like, it's crazy. I always put that at 2008 in my brain because, like, that's when he was elected. But, yeah, it would have been 2009 when he was sworn in. And people had so much Obama merch. Like, they had the T-shirts, and, like, I think they even had shoes and stuff. And that was such a big deal it's crazy to think that like we're only gonna change from there like we're gonna have a lesbian president we're gonna have a gay president we're gonna have like a muslim president like that's so crazy to think about and exciting so apparently the app that was 10 years old is some t-pain app where you like sing into it and it turns into t-pain's voice i have no memory of this so i can neither confirm nor deny that this was a big deal but like i didn't know anyone who even had freaking iphones at that point let alone like that kind of an app i think i had it was a couple years until i even got my like ipod touch so like i don't know fam maybe it was big who knows and the electronic that turned 10 was the iphone the third model of the iphone like oh my gosh like obviously i remember the first time i saw an iphone i didn't have one because i was a nugget but our family friend had one and i thought it was the coolest thing that you could take pictures of yourself like that you could look at yourself and take pictures of yourself because i was a vain son of a gun and that blew my mind and then there was the talking tom app where you could like make the cat say things you were saying and you better believe i thought that i was living in the year 3017 yeah that's the future and it's just crazy now that like our lives are like around this and that like i'm filming on this right now and this is going to go on to a platform where a bunch of people make videos on their phones and like everyone can be a cinematographer on their phone and like so many apps and so many different things that like we use every day and uber and like gps is all on here and it's crazy to think that we're so in the future when you look back and like people didn't even have touch screen phones like ugh. I don't know, it's crazy how 10 years can seem like not so long ago, but so much has happened. Wow. Okay, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe, because I put a videos every single week, and it helps me a whole bunch. Subscribe. I can't turn my head all the way around, because I will throw up.